We wanted a way that agents could hone their craft and be a part of a larger community, get the resources they need and information they need to know. We cover relevant topics in the industry that will help you close more sales. We talk to top producers and industry leaders to share knowledge and best practices from around the country. So if you want to make more sales, then listen up because we're dropping gold. What's up, guys? So today is a special day. I have my son here joining me in the office for the Medicare Sales Podcast. And Thomas is a master at negotiating because he seems to be really good at getting me to buy him what he wants. So let's talk a little bit about what we did in the store today, right? In the store today, we were there to look for a microphone. And we ended up in the toy aisle looking for what kind of toys? Yeah. What kind of toys were we looking at? The the Aquaman the Aquaman um bad guy and Shazam and Shazam who else though because you War Machine War Machine so do you remember how much money did I say we had to spend on action figures today ten ten dollars right and so do you remember how much did Shazam cost ten dollars I mean five dollars there's five dollars and then the bad guy from Aquaman five dollars and then War Machine cost how much $10. dollars $10. So you had to make a choice today, right? This is an important lesson because you can't have it all. So sometimes you have to just, you have to make a choice. You knew you had $10 to spend. So you were looking at either one toy for $10 or two toys for $5 each, right? Which one did you end up choosing? War Machine. War Machine. And War Machine was the one that cost how much? $10. $10. Get closer to the mic, please. Um, so why did you choose War Machine? I want to know. Because he's my, because he's one of my straight favorite superheroes from Avengers. From Avengers, okay. <laughs> so I remember because I asked you, I said, "How come you didn't want two of them?" You said you didn't like the DC comic superheroes, right? Yeah. Is that true? You don't like the DC comic superheroes? I was just kidding. You were kidding. Okay, so yeah. let me ask you then: Who is one of your favorite DC comic superheroes? Um, the Blue Shazam. The Blue. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it just, I picked the one machine because he looked really cooler. He did look really cool. Yeah. I, I'll admit, he looked cool. He came with some, some extra accessories. Um, he had what, a machine gun? Yeah. He had a machine gun, the one that goes on his shoulder, and he had, he had something else. It looked pretty cool. Yeah. Plus, you've never had the War Machine action figure. We have Iron Man, right? So now you have his good buddy, Rhodey. Because that's Rhodey. Rhodey's a war machine. So now let's talk a little bit about something that's happened recently to you. You started kindergarten, right? Yeah, right. And so how do you like kindergarten so far? Like, like way back there. <laughs> like how, way back here. How do you like it, though? How do you like going to kindergarten every day? Like this much. This much? Okay. All right. And how many times do you get to go to recess? In three kindergarten? times. Three times? Yes. Okay. So in the morning, right? Yes. And then at lunchtime and then in the afternoon? Yes. It's important to have some recess, right? Important to take a little bit of a break. Yeah. But do you also like the learning part of it? Yeah. Okay. So right now, what are you learning math? Yeah. You are. You're learning some math. Okay. Um, can I can I put you on the spot and ask you what's five plus five? Ten. What's ten plus ten? Twenty. Oh, okay. So you like learning some math. What about uh, you know you guys are learning how to write and read, right? Okay. Do you like reading books? Um, I actually don't know how to read books. Yeah. Uh, Thomas. We have to read books every night, and yes, you do know how to read. I don't know how to read the books. Well, oh, the ones that they have? Actually, you don't read the books. Oh, you don't? They don't have any books. Oh, what? Well, you have a day that you go to the library every week, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but um, only the teacher reads the stories. Okay. Okay, only the teacher reads them. So at home, though, it's part of your homework that you need to read a, a story to us. So we have books that you're able to read, right? Because you read them to me every night. 
I know you can read, so you can't tell me you don't. You're just being, you're just being silly. Okay, so let me ask you another question, right? Right. Now that you're in kindergarten, you get to eat lunch in a lunchroom. Do you, do you, would you rather, would you rather take your lunch to school or would you rather buy your lunch at the cafeteria? Buy my lunch at the cafeteria. So it's really tasty stuff, huh? Yeah, but why would I say no? <laughs> the food is so good. It is? Yeah. You know, when I was little, a lot of people would complain that the food was not very good at cafeterias, but it sounds like they stepped up their game. <laughs> Tell me what are some of your favorite things that they have in the cafeteria that you like eating? Get, get a little closer to the mic. Um, Tell me some of the things they have at the cafeteria that you like eating. Um, pizza? Do they have pizza there? Oh, I like pizza, and I liked it, um, what about their, don't they have bean burritos? Yes, they do. I've seen, maybe you haven't had a bean burrito. You also got to have one of their, um, what is it, the barbecue chicken sandwiches? Yeah. How was that? Oh, good. On the scale of one to ten, how good is it? One being it tastes like junk, 10 being like it tastes amazing. 10. 10? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. One. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So Ten. What, what, other, what other awesome things do you eat at the cafeteria? What do you drink at the cafeteria? Chocolate milk every day. Chocolate milk every day? Yeah. You just don't like anything else but chocolate milk, huh? Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Um, all right. Well, are you happy being in kindergarten? Cause it's a longer day than preschool, but are you happy going there? Yeah. I don't complain about my parents. <laughs> I don't whine. I don't cry. I don't whine. I don't whine. Like, uh, <laughs> I saw my, did my mom and dad look at me. I, I miss my mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's good. That's good. Because you always know we're going to come back and pick you up anyway, right? Yeah. So you don't have to worry about that because, you know, you're the most important person to us. So <laughs> that was a good impersonation. That was funny. I like that. <laughs> Tell me about what are some of the extra things that you do outside of school? Some other activities that you do after school? Um, nothing. Please. My, 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 my bank account doesn't say nothing, okay? Because <laughs> you do plenty of activities. What are some of the things you do? Um, go play. You go swimming? Yeah. All right, you have swim lessons? And I go to... Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Okay. Piano. Piano. My class is not there anymore. No, we canceled our canceled. class. Yeah. Not that you weren't good at it. It's just the teacher. It was just, it was weird. But okay. So what else? Um, Crayola place. No, that's just a fun thing we do. We can do on the weekends. But what about the new game you're learning? There's a new game you're learning. Has a lot of pieces. Yes. That's right. That's right. So can you name the pieces off the top of your head that's on a chessboard? Pawn. Pawn. Knight. Yeah. Rook. Mm-hmm. Rook. Bishop. Bishop. Um Queen. Yeah. And King. Yeah. I think that's all of them, right? Let's see. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Yeah, that is. Yeah, good job, buddy. And you know how to set up the, the chess pieces and everything, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So we just got to get you good enough so that you can join your school's chess club soon. That'd be pretty fun, huh? Yeah. So there's other things you still do, right? Don't you do Taekwondo? Not anymore. Not anymore? That's right. It's been a little while since we've taken you there, but you were, you learned how to speak. You learned how to say, uh, to count from one to 10 in Korean, didn't you? Yeah. 
Can you still do it? I know what I say. Okay, say it. Let me hear you say it on the microphone. Count to ten in Korean. I know. Do that. Net. That's up. Yes, up. Evil. I hope. Yol. Yol. And you can also, can you count to ten in Spanish? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. All right. You got a little bit of skill going on. So if you had to only do two things of all your after school activities, all right, because you also have basketball coming up soon. Yeah. But if you can only do two things, what two things would you do? Like two classes? Mm hmm. Swimming gymnastics. Swimming and gymnastics. That sounds like those are two good ones. They're good for physical activity. We really want all of them. You. <laughs> <laughs> you're silly well hey let me ask you okay we're gonna wrap this up here because we need to go pick up your mom so let me ask you a question do you know what i do here in this office um, you work to make money okay that's true but what do i do to make money what am i doing here to make money Sell Medicare supplements. That's right. I sell Medicare supplements. That's right. I help, I help people to get them better coverage to minimize their risk. Yes. That's right. So do you think that one day you'll, you'll grow up and you want to you wanna be a master salesman? Yeah. No. What do you think you want to do when you grow up? I don't think I'm going to use computers when I'm growing up either. You are so silly. Dude, you already know how to use computers. That's, you, you, you play the tablets all day long. You know how to use computers. Of course no, you do. Of course I do not. I, I only know how to use my, my first school's computer. Okay. Yeah. That's a, but a computer is a computer. Because of what you learned how to use your, the computer at your first school, when you were in preschool, that's the same kind of computer that this is right here. You could, you could do this too. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. You know more than you think. I'll tell you that much. You're a real smart kid. That's why you got such a big head. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. I got a big head too. <laughs> so... Do you have do, <laughs> do, you, do you know any jokes? Not that. Who's there? Chicken. Chicken who? Chicken roasting. Chicken chicken roasting? <laughs> chicken roasting. <laughs> chicken roasted, okay. You tried. You tried. Hey, so what do you think we should do here today? You think we should go home and go swimming? Yeah. That probably sounds like a lot of fun, huh? Yeah. It's a pretty hot day, so it's a good day to go swimming. Yeah. Okay. Did you have fun? Did you have fun on the podcast? Yeah. All right. Hey, what's one thing that you've learned from coming into my office as much as you have? You see everybody here who works hard, right? Um, so you, you're, are you learning the importance of working hard? Because you work hard at school. I see you. You work hard at school. You work hard on your homework. So you understand how important it is to work hard, right? Yeah? Yeah. Good. Work hard. Play hard. That's right, baby. All right. Thanks for coming on my show. I hope to have you back here soon. I'll come on the stage later. You'll come on stage later? All right. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.